Let's do it. So we went out and bought four of the best smartphones in the 25 to 30,000 V price category. And we're gonna stack them against Fresh Eyes, the Nothing 2A and uh, hope it wins. It better win, Carl. Awesome. It better win. <laughs> Carl is in Mumbai. I am very curious, why are you launching this in India? For those who don't know, India is one of the most competitive smartphone markets in the world. For the money they pay, they want the absolute best. Best performance, best camera, best software, best everything. All these brands put a lot of care and love into the flagship products, mm -hmm. the most expensive products. For everything below, they kind of don't really care. We want to put the same amount of effort on the 2A line as we do on a flagship line. And we know for this price segment that India is going to be a key market. So I think if you can make this product really work for India, then it's going to work everywhere. So that's why I'm here. I'm new to phone reviews, Carl. I've watched a lot, all the tech reviews I could find. There's a bunch of things that I'm curious about. I'm going to draw them out and I'm going to ask you about them and we'll go through one by one. Damn, these lines are not very straight. Deal with it. All right, let's start with the phones. Redmi, the Vivo. We have the Realme, the Nord. OnePlus Nord. And finally, here we go. The Nothing Phone 2A. Awesome. I want to start, Carl, with... Let's start with the Vivo. The Vivo we bought for... 26, 25, on the Redmi Note 13 Pro. Right? Realme 12 Pro, 25999. Nord C3, 24999. And then we have the 2A at 23999. Okay, well that looks like we're winning here to start. This is a good start, Carl. I think next we should go through and we we'll rate them out of 10. All right, All right so let's start, start with the Vivo. The Vivo. Uh, well, the first thing that sticks out on me is the plastic, man. I don't think we should have plastic around phones anymore. Not sustainable. Uh, decent, decent box. Uh, it's a little bit flimsy. Uh, plastic wrap. Plastic wrap again, for tab. Phone, very cheap plastic folder. Phone case, charging brick, cable. Not fond of the plastic wrap on the phone, not fond of the holder. How would you like that unboxing experience? What would you rate it? I mean, it's okay, right? Leave this at a five on 10. Redmi. Nicer feel opening. This does already look better. I like the pop of red. Cable set is nicer. Easier to open this. Better case. Brick cable and a case. Dude, significantly better unboxing experience. Oh I would give God. this a six. Let's get into Real the... Me. Now this has more weight to it, but it's harder to open. Nice yellow pop. Yeah, it's a good typography. Okay, so here, th this has cheaper plastic inside. Again, nicer film to take it out, similar to the Redmi. Cover. Cover. <laughs> Classic. Power brick cable. With the Realme, uh, I would lay it at a five. Nice experience here. Classic box. Better wrap. Standard brick here. Case. Case is nicer, right? It's got stickers. It's got a card for you. Very cool. All right, so you want to give this a seven? Sure. You okay with that? Man of the hour. Smallest. No plastic. No plastic. That's nice. It has the pull tab. This is very nice. How does it? Oh. Oh, that's nice. This is significantly nice. Uh, this is also paper. This is also a very nice, easy to open paper. No stickers on the phone. No brick. No brick. No case. This is our SIM tray ejector. Oh, Jesus. Does it have water in it? Damn, look at that. Even the cable. The cable is. Oh. Transparent USB-C. Cool, man. I'll give it to you, Carl. This is nice. The exterior box is all right. The interior box is really nice. I'm gonna do that a nine on 10, dude. It's okay. I would have given this an eight. I see, I see what you're doing here. A little bit hard on yourself. I like it. So, so far, we have one price, and I would say we have one unboxing. With the cheapest phone here, with the significantly nicer unboxing experience, I would say. I don't really like uh, very colorful things. Mm -hmm. When I buy products, I want the products to look nice for the long, like, mm. the long run, not just you know when you unbox it, but it has to look nice on day 100, you know, not just on day one. Shiny red Shiny situation. Thing underneath, flashy fake marble. <laughs> for me, these three um, fall out immediately. Yeah. Right. But if it's not for me, I'm sure some people like this. That's why they they Fair made enough. the phones like this. This is more low key. This is, you can consider it very different. What do you rate the Vivo? Uh, three. Three on design. Four on the Redmi. This is, I think, terrible. Yeah, it's a bit One. generous, but two. <laughs> give it two. Okay, we're down at the Nord. Uh, it's got slightly matte texture. Um, yeah. Fake metal. Personally, not go for fake metal. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's not offensive. Probably solid seven. 
Okay. My turn. The eyes are so nice. I think that's my favorite part. And then of course, you know, the transparency is just doing this thing and this ribbon has this beautiful flow. I love the honesty with the materials. I mean, this definitely wins over the OnePlus. Right? It's not even a, OnePlus is leading here, but it's not even a comparison. I feel like I'm gonna put this way up at at least an eight. But I would say it's like very divisive, right? Some people love it. Very polarizing, right? One for some people, 10 for some people. I think we leave this at par with the OnePlus at seven. That takes us to 695 Snapdragon 7 Gen Snap Dragon 6S Gen 1 782. Well, everything is Snapdragon, Snapdragon. <laughs> 7200 Pro. Which of these is the best? I think let's do some benchmark tests, but if you just look at the manufacturer yeah. and the process, these two are already out, right? It's a six nanometer process. And if you compare these remaining four nanometers, TSMC's process is better than Samsung's. Oh yeah? TSMC is objectively known to be better than Samsung? Samsung's are known to have had some issues with their heating. Well, let's get into the benchmarks. Explain to me quickly what a test like, what a benchmark test is. So it's a synthetic test. It's gonna run the phone through multiple scenarios mm -hmm. and really challenge the performance mm -hmm. and then give it a score. So it's gonna be completely objective. Till now, we could have just been biased. I mean, aside from the price. Could be. The unboxing, design, etc. Yeah. This is real time. We just unboxed all yeah. the phones. So let's start Super them objective. all at the same time. Okay. We better win. I take these three. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Set. Three, two, one, go. Not bad. We got all of them off at the same time. I'm gonna just design a new phone for you right here. 573k, oh Jesus. You're not happy with the 675k, but we're crushing this game, dude. It's in order, right? It's in perfect order, <laughs> by pure coincidence. So we had the Vivo at 449k, Redmi at 573k. We have the Realme at 593k. We have the OnePlus at 625k and we're at 675k and you're saying this is also not optimal uh, it, should be, it should be over 700 yeah. big win yeah this is awesome congratulations so then here we can win as well so right? we win the chip yeah. game for show that takes okay. us to the how do we judge display dude try and look at it from different brightness levels why don't we go to youtube and we start videos that the tvs used to play yes that's a good search idea search for like 4k oled this is a clear winner my god this glass just looks confused. can we see this on camera is it on highest yeah oh, this is not highest right oh wow this is significantly brighter screen way better look at this this is i always stood by this i like the redmi i really like the redmi screen but i think on this one i saw some uh, at lower brightness i saw some yellow -ish. yellow blue white it's got a curved display right yeah but on the left side and the right side where it curves it gets dark yeah i see that that's not good i don't know what it's called but it's kind of cheap see this this display is better right i it, see it it yeah. doesn't bleed that much on the two yeah. sides okay, so which one is this this is the this is Realme. Game. Realme is better than our Vivo. Okay, so Vivo is down out here. Our Realme seems to be better. I think the nothing should be the brightest. It definitely is, by a long yeah. shot. This is nice. I think the Redmi is nicer than the Vivo and the Realme. I think the colors are a lot more immersive on the OnePlus. I look at these birds here. We're looking at birds right now. This one is brighter, right? I think this is slightly better. Slightly actually. better. Yeah. These two are high, no? And there's one, one more thing that I don't know if you noticed, but if you look at the bezels... They're not all 100% even, no? We're the only ones with a even bezel. All, all four like sides. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do the exact same Up, distance. Down. You get the Vivo a 4 on the display. The Realme a 5. A OnePlus a 6. The Redmi a 7. What I wanted to say was, these two phones have a curved display, right? This one actually also has a curved display. I don't know if these two have it, but this one has it. But then we took the curve and we actually just curved the screen and rolled it underneath. That's how we reduced the chin. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, here's the screen and then we roll it underneath the part uh, that normally sticks up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we accomplished the symmetrical bezels. Very cool. So we have our boy leading this race again with an 8 out of 10. That's good. That's a good display. That takes us to... When it comes to software, some people prefer 
like more functionality mm -hmm. in your experience. Right. But I think one thing that everybody can agree on is that they don't like pre-installed apps. This one is kind of crazy. You have this folder called Hot Apps. Mm -hmm. It's actually not a folder. It's they checked you to open a store. Oh, what? The icon looks like an app. Yeah. But when you press it, it's like a store. Yeah, yeah. this also has hard apps, hard games. It's got Snapchat, it's got Vivo.com, the App Store, Vivo Cloud, yeah. Realme. Realme has hard apps. Oh, I mean, these two OSs are the same, right? It's a different UI, though. Yeah. Like, this looks very different the way it opens. So, which one has the most bloatware? Probably Vivo. It's got the most, like, pre installed apps, right? OnePlus is the cleanest so far. It's yeah. It's the second. And these two are, all, are, are bad. I'd say this is the worst. This is yeah. second bad, second worst. But I would say that, you know, these are all quite standard, whereas we've taken a very uh, different, different approach, approach in terms of the design. It's Vivo subjective. has so much bloat whether we're gonna, it's gonna lose points. I wouldn't touch it. Two on 10. Uh, Redmi was clean. It's cleaner, like. Slightly cleaner. Four. Maybe like a four, yeah. Realme is slightly better than Vivo. Slightly less. Yeah, yeah, so we'll give this a three. OnePlus. I think it's actually pretty good. It's got a lot of tasteful customization options. It's quite nice, actually. I would probably give it a seven. And what about our boy here? One to 10. <laughs> Man, you gotta stop with this car. It's clean, absolutely no bloatware. I mean, we have our own um, Nothing X app, right? So if you bought our earbuds, you can control it from here. Mm. I'd give us an eight, dude. At least an eight. I don't know how it could get better. I'll take it, I'll take it. That Sorry. takes us to one of the most essential parts of phone. So the Vivo has a 5,000 mAh battery. Redmi is at 5,100. Realme is also at 5K. Nord is also at 5K. And the 2A is also at 5,000 mAh. So this is not going to be like super scientific because there's also software optimization. Yeah. But if we just look at the hardware, right? First, let's cancel out the NMs. Yeah. Six NMs, right? Here. Yeah. So you got these two out. And then you have the four nanometer ones left. Right. However, Samsung overheats more. The heat is energy, right? Yeah. That energy comes from your battery capacity. But, you know, we haven't gone through all the battery testing stuff. We don't have time for this video. How long is the battery supposed to last? I think it's just like, you should feel, you should not feel battery anxiety. Mm. You should use it your entire day. Even when you're, you know, staying out late for dinner, you should not feel anxious about your battery. I hear you. Usually people charge their phones every night, right? Mm -hmm. So it should last you a day and a bit more. I hear you, I hear you. Cool. That takes us to the... Okay, I think we gotta go out. Let's head out, take a few photos with each phone. Let's go. Okay. Like first day of school vibes. <laughs> uh, it's not an in-depth camera review. We're talking about the most practical scenarios and simple ones at that. One outdoor, one indoor. Back camera, front camera. Capiche? Capiche? Okay, let's have a look. It's hard to see a difference. It's hard to see a difference. They're all pretty good, man. Maybe look at the shoes. Let's look at the shoes. I think my shoes look the nicest on the nothing. They look super beat on the Nord. I think it's a bit oversaturated on ours, actually. I think all the photos are pretty good. It's not a difficult scene. However, I do feel like we need to tone down the brightness a little bit. Mm -hmm. so and the colors are a bit oversaturated. Yeah, tone down the saturation and tone down the brightness by a little bit. Okay, let's go rating. Vivo back camera. Let's say, let's give it a six. Uh, Redmi, what would you give it this one? Five? Yeah. Let's give it five. Max, five. Realme? Realme is pretty nice, actually. The outdoor is outdoor nice. Is done nice. back camera. The outdoor photo is, I think, really nicely done. It's yeah, but this is better than this is better than Vivo, right? Yeah. Yeah. So seven. Seven. One plus. This is not as nice as the real new one, right? It's still not. Yeah, it's not this, is, this is a great balance on colors. So it's we're a good balance. with this one. The one plus is nice and seven. One plus is much better. Okay. Eight on ten. I'm with you. And then we have the nothing back camera. The outdoor is uh, a little it's a bit saturated. Too, too bright and too saturated. Maybe seven. I give it a seven. You're right. I appreciate the humility, Carl. Let's go to selfies. Selfie camera. Start with Vivo. Vivo. This one is like very fake, but it doesn't look bad, right? It doesn't look too bad. And then let's look at the indoor one. Oh no, no, no. it's not it's seven. Terrible. What are you saying? Dude? Indoor is Vivo's terrible. Vivo is a four. 
considering how bad the indoor is, it's a four max. Okay. The Redmi. Redmi. Let's check it out. Check Redmi, it out. I've really liked as a phone so far, I must say. But the indoor is super blurry. It's uh, not as bad as the. Not as bad Vivo. as the Vivo. It's not as overprocessed as <laughs> this one, right? As the Give it six or five. I'd say it's a five. Five. Because the indoor is really bad, dude. Yeah, here this one, like my skin looks insanely painted. Better than, still better than Vivo. So the outdoor is very bad. The indoor is okay. Four. All right. On plus. Indoors, not that great. Outdoors, oh, outdoors really is nice. very good. Very good. This is great. Indoor is very blurry. So maybe six or seven. Max six. Max six. six. Yeah, the indoors, not good. The outdoors is really really nice on that. Okay. Let's look at our selfies. This is good. I think it's not as good as the Nord, right? Because it's, it's the color is a bit uh, too yellow. But the indoor is the best. The indoor is the best. Definitely the best, by a long shot. It's a great indoor photo. We'll balance it out on yeah, game six. Let's balance it out. All right, after we finished shooting the video, we just got a new update on our phone 2As, a new camera update. And naturally, I went downstairs to test the camera again. Vedu has already gone home, so he wasn't there. We have a new nothing friend who helped me model. I'm happy to say that the rear camera has gotten a lot better. You know, in the previous photo, I think it was a little bit too yellow and also a little bit oversaturated. I think we've addressed both issues. I think we can turn down the saturation by a little bit more, make it really perfect. And also, the front camera has gotten a little bit better. It's a bit less bright but I think there's still much more we can do on the front camera. Thank you. All right, and that brings us to the end of this 55 grid review. <laughs> wow, we went through a lot, Carl. That was yeah. an interesting experience. Nothing phone 2A in the number one position on this. The Nord is clearly number two, and the Redmi is number three. Realme number four, and this in number five. But that gives us the winning game. Congratulations, yes. Carl, you've made a very nice one. Thank you, and this totally unbiased review. <laughs> At the time this video comes out, Nothing Phone 2A is officially live for Indian consumers to purchase, and make sure you take my recommendation, get it, it seems like a great bang for your buck. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to leave a comment below and telling us your thoughts. We'll see you in the next one, peace.